You know, some of you don't. Johnny, Johnny works really hard. Johnny's here every, same as we, every single week. And he finally was like, I need a night off. Well, you know, a night off for us means he just kind of cruised in a seat and watched the show. He didn't actually leave. He just needed a night off. So tonight is his first night back on the job. I'm guessing he's probably having a little, some sort of, I don't know, lapse or something. So, Johnny, where are you? Yeah. John, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny, there are three problems with this moment. Um, is, is one of them a fish? There are four problems with this moment. The first problem, well, give me the fish. Oh, okay. The second problem, that's my bathrobe. Give me my bathrobe. Oh, okay. All right. I cannot believe you. And then, you know, you were off last week and you sat out there and you just, you just heckled and heckled and heckled. I was really good at it. And the fourth problem is that I want to try it. You, you, you want to, you want to, oh. Uh, I want to try sitting in the audience and doing my thing and let you do your thing. I mean, and you can like, perform, you're on, I'm off now. It's, it's, it's really hard though, like don't hurt yourself. Because oh, like you have so to come back. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to do it for an act. I couldn't take a whole night okay, off. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so, so everybody, let me, let me I, I, you're up here now, so I'll give you a, pre now that you're properly tired and I'm a little uh, more casual, uh, let, me, let me give you a proper introduction. Oh, okay. Okay, everybody, this is Johnny. And this is Russ. They've already met me. Oh, well, but, so, so you're not Russ? No, I'm, I'm Russ, but I'm... And I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. Johnny? I'm Johnny. We know. And this is Russ. I'm Russ. They know. Oh, they, they know what? They know that I'm Russ. And I'm Johnny. Do you want me to introduce you or not? Okay. This is Johnny! This is Johnny. That's right, folks. I'm Johnny. Hi, Johnny! You know, I come here. I have a lot of fun. I meet all of you amazing people. I'm running around. I'm crazy. And tonight, I'm not just Johnny. You see, tonight, I'm also John. You see, Johnny... Johnny's a character that I have. I, I, I started coming to open stage, I got rolled into the production crew, I eventually got pulled into the circus itself, and they said to me, you can't just be John, you have to be someone, we've got too many Johns as it is, and so I was like, okay, uh, uh, Johnny Morbid, that's, that's, that's the character I put on, and eventually the character became this larger-than-life, happy idiot, that he's too stupid to know that he would have any reason to be sad. He's constantly craving the spotlight and will do anything to get a laugh, even if it means throwing his very good friend and performing partner under the bus by saying his name a million freaking times. <laughs> Which is really, really fun. Never gets old. But that's the thing, is there is a cognitive dissonance within me. Because there's Johnny, who is... This, this character that shows up every week and entertains you and does everything he can to make this night amazing, even if that means making a complete ass of himself. Because, well, it's funny. But then at the same time, there's, there's John, which is to say the guy who at the end of the show is exhausted after putting in a 10-hour shift at his day job has been busting his ass for five hours after that 10 hour shift just to help put on this show. And he gets home and he's already two hours behind on sleep. And he doesn't care because he put on a kick ass show. You see, John, me, is highly intelligent. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna be humble about it. I'm a smart motherfucker. <laughs> And as is often the case with 
intelligent people, I've also got some crazy crap going on in my brain. I was diagnosed as clinically depressed in the fourth grade. I was the saddest 10 year old you would ever meet. And I've been fighting with that my entire life. I have a self-worth that is wrapped up in the quality of my work. So when I screw something up, when I, John, screw something up, it tanks my mood for anywhere from a few hours to the rest of the week, depending on how bad I screwed up. And I, I fight with that constantly. Rationally, I know, oh, I screwed up, it happens, everybody makes mistakes, but that's not the part of my brain that's really loud at the time. The part of my brain that I keep hearing is the one that says, you screwed up, you're gonna get fired, people don't like you anymore, this is terrible and you should feel terrible. And that's inside me. Of course, there are other sides of John that, you know, I'm, I, I, I like to play video games, not because I like to, you know, insinuate that I've had relations with a whole bunch of people's mothers on Call of Duty, but because, <laughs> besides I'm not 12, no one would believe me. But rather because I love stories and I don't have time to read the 4,600 pages that A Song of Fire and Ice has. It's, it, which if anybody swears the next episode for me, I swear I will break you in half. But I, I love video games, I love movies, I love television, anything that has a good story, I'm on it. I love science, I love politics, religion, philosophy, technology, just thinking about shit. I love all of that because it keeps this incredibly active, totally messed up brain moving in a direction. And there's something that I've realized about John and Johnny is that Johnny is a mask. Like a lot of masks, it, it kind of hides the person inside. But at the same time, John is a mask too because what, it, what John does is he hides the things that Johnny brings out in me. What John doesn't have that Johnny does is the ability to walk up to complete strangers and say, hi, how are you? It's nice to meet you. How about this crazy awesome thing we're doing? Or, hey, do you like the circus? I like the circus, I'm in a circus, of course I like it. Do you wanna come to a circus? Hey, come on, let's go see a show. John doesn't know how to do that, but Johnny does. And it's important to understand the nature of these masks because like, like a lot of things, it, it hides part of you. It becomes like armor, but at the same time, it takes it away because by understanding the difference between one part of yourself and another, maybe it's Maybe it's the part of you that comes here, or the part of you that goes to the bank, or the part of you that sits there and takes it when your boss is yelling at you about something that you had no control over. Or the part of you that sits with a family member you can't stand because they don't know you. And you just say, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, it's great to see you again. Happy Thanksgiving. Look forward to next year. That, that mask, the part of you that says, this is what I'm going to show this group of people, this is what I'm going to show this group of people over here, as long as you understand when you put on those masks, when you put on that armor, you understand what you need to do to take it off. And I know I may be rambling, but honestly, I don't care because, well, I'm the one with the microphone, so suck it. That was Johnny speaking. John is actually really nervous that he's completely lost the plot and none of you are paying attention anymore. He's still here. And John thanks you for that. And so does Johnny. And honestly, 
it, it all comes down to understanding yourself, understanding the masks you wear, because sure, sometimes, sometimes the masks you wear hide who you are. And other times, they set you free. Thank you.